Hi everyone, today we're talking about the 2022 Kia Stinger. The Stinger was first added to the Kia lineup back in 2018 as its new performance-oriented sedan. For 2022, there are three trim levels, starting with the base GT Line model that gets a 2.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that delivers 300 horsepower. Stepping up to the next two trims is the GT1 and GT2, and both of those trim models get a 3.3-liter twin-turbocharged V6 engine that delivers 368 horsepower. All models come standard with rear-wheel drive, but all-wheel drive is also an option. New exterior upgrades include new LED lighting, new geometric wheel designs, and a more aggressive looking quad exhaust. Prices for the Kia Stinger start right around $36,000 and climb as high as the $52,000 range. I've been spending a week in this GT Line rear wheel drive model that checks in just under $40,000. Let's hop in and take a closer look at the 2022 Kia Stinger. The Stinger has a head-turning design that will surprise most people. In fact, the night I pulled up in this Ascot Green Stinger, my neighbors thought I was driving a new Jaguar. It has a long wheelbase with a short front overhang and longer rear overhang. It has a wide stance that looks aggressive and muscular. Standard LED lighting features a new signature, including a net-like design for the amber turn signals. The side profile is striking with a sloped roof that swoops down to the back that is further accented by a chrome strip that follows the line to the base of the rear window. Around back, LED lights extend across the hatch and wrap around into the rear fenders. Quad exhaust tips have been revised and are encompassed in the rear bumper. Either 18 or 19 inch alloy wheels are well designed to complement the car. The liftback design is unique in this segment with both its appearance and functionality. There is 23.3 cubic feet of space behind the rear seats and 40.9 cubic feet with the seats folded down. These numbers are more than almost any other mid-sized sedan on the market. The Stinger is available with two powertrains that are both impressive. For this review, I spent time in the 2.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder that manages to pump out 300 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque for an estimated 0 to 60 time of 5.2 seconds, which is much quicker than expected and only a half a second slower than the V6. The 8-speed automatic shifts smoothly and appropriately. The ride is smooth and responsive with an engaging drive that is connected to the road. Handling is responsive with well-weighted steering that is fun to whip around some corners. It also comes with paddle shifters for manual shifting and five drive modes that include Eco, Smart, Comfort, Sport, and Custom that will automatically shift the dynamics to cater to your preferred driving style. It arrived with a full 15.9 gallon tank offering a range of just under 400 miles. EPA estimates are 25 miles per gallon combined for the four-cylinder and premium fuel is recommended. After a week of spirited suburban driving, I averaged 24 miles per gallon. Like Kia's mid-size Telluride crossover, they have maximized the interior space to provide an abundance of passenger space. It seats five people comfortably with plenty of leg, head, and shoulder room up front. The seats are supportive and well-positioned with adjustable controls. Rear seats offer a good amount of legroom, but headroom may be tight for taller adults due to the sloping roof. Tech was on par with competitors as the Stinger's standard 10.25-inch touchscreen integrates with both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay via a cord connection. It also offers multi-connection Bluetooth wireless connectivity, wireless phone charger, steering wheel controls, and an available Harman Kardon premium audio system. Behind the steering wheel, Kia also offers a 7-inch center cluster with video view for blind spot monitoring with a live video view of adjacent lanes that is activated via the turn signal. Control placement is functional and the T-shaped gear selector had a retro muscle car nostalgia feel. Adding to the sporty feel inside was a flat bottom steering wheel with a mix of materials that included leather and silver bright work. Standard on all models is Kia's DriveWise driver assist technology that includes blind spot collision avoidance assist, rear cross traffic avoidance assist, safe exit warning, forward collision avoidance with pedestrian and cyclist detection, smart cruise control, lane keep assist, and lane departure warning. The Kia Stinger is a sleeper car that will impress and surprise you. It looks good in all trims with precise attention to the details. Kia has kept it fresh annually by updating the lighting, wheels, and logo. With an affordable starting price, it packs a lot into the base GT line that won't disappoint, and the high-end GT2 is on par with more costly luxury vehicles. This car is a ton of fun to drive while still providing space to haul family or cargo. That's a wrap of my review of the 2022 Kia Stinger. I personally am just glad that an affordable rear-wheel drive performance sedan like this still exists in today's market. For the full review, be sure to visit drivechicago.com and subscribe below for even more automotive reviews. And give us a follow on our other social channels, including Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. 
I'm Jim O'Brill with Drive Chicago. Thanks for watching.